Wednesday, August 12th, and I'm headed to my classroom because I need to set it up. This is the latest I've ever done this in my life as a teacher. I always, until this year, have had my room completely done, everything labeled, all that with names and stuff, by the end of July. Not this year. Not this year. Um, we had summer school through July this year, so for one thing, I didn't want to go in when the summer school kids were there, and since, you know, with the COVID thing and stuff, we split our classes out more, so there were less kids in a summer school class, and only certain kids um, were, like, kind of invited to summer school, those that needed a little extra help. It was not enrichment at all this year. It was all just, like, extra help, so they end up using some of the second grade rooms this year. Not mine because it was a hot mess <laughs> because I haven't put it together yet. So back in May, they cleaned our classrooms out because they didn't have anything else to do. Since the shutdown in March, like the week of St. Patrick's Day, the custodians had all of that extra time to clean. So they did a lot of the cleaning earlier than they normally would have been able to. And then they were ready to clean classrooms before school was even over. So our classrooms have been clean for a long time and I just wasn't feeling like going in in June to do anything. And then July, like I said, they had summer school and I didn't want to come in when the kids were there. So here I am. Finally getting up the oof to get in there and get her done. So I have a lot of things to do. I will take you to my classroom today and I will show you the hot mess that it is <laughs> then I'll show you periodic snippets of progress as I make my way through the day. I'm planning to be there all day. I even brought a frozen lunch. Now my refrigerator has not been plugged in since May, but I'm going to plug in as soon as I get there since so I can get it to its spot. And then I can stick it in the freezer and eventually it'll at least get your refrigerator temperature. So that'll be okay. Um, like I said, I have a lot to do, as you can imagine. I didn't vlog through the summer just because I, I don't know, I kind of got into a home routine and I was doing stuff at home and I was on a roll and then I kind of lost my groove and I didn't get nearly as much accomplished at home as I had intended to because I kind of got into a funk. I think like world events got to me. I mean there's a lot going on in the world. A lot has happened since the shutdown in March. Our state or our area of our state fully reopened by the time school was out. Like everything was open and going basically with some restrictions like some of the restaurants you had to they had to have a table space apart and you can only have like every other table filled and such like that but yeah so our our area has not been hit very hard with positive cases thank goodness um and we've only had one death which is really sad but very low numbers of things so that's really good um, we do have a reopening plan for school, but <laughs> it's always subject to change because we never know for sure what is going to happen. So, our plan as of this moment that I know of is to have Mondays. This won't change. This part won't change no matter what we do. Mondays will be distance learning days. So, we use a program called Canvas. It's an online platform. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with that. And we'll be posting the assignments and things on there and then uh, we'll be in the classrooms the rest of the week in person full classes I have 18 on my roll as of now now parents do have an option of doing in school or they can be completely virtual through the program that we use for summer school called launch and it's out of another district because you have to be like you have to have special requirements met and you have to be like certified through the state things like that so this district has done all that so any students from our district that want to do that will be joining that platform for the entire semester so they have um, like seven days to change their mind if they decide they don't want to do virtual after school has started and they can switch but after that they're locked in until January so it's a big decision, big decision. So a lot of our students have chosen that, not necessarily in our building, but in our district. I think we, I think they told us the other day, 70 students from our district have chosen that route. But um, 
and I know a few from our building. So our building is uh, kindergarten through second because now we have an early childhood building. So that's preschool and that would be a virtual option, I'm sure, because it's not necessary. They don't have to go to preschool. But anyway, so I was talking about a training we had Monday. We had a Canvas training on Monday in person. Plus we have an online component that we need to do and I'm not completely finished with it. So I'll be picking at that. I think there are six modules, maybe seven. I'm not positive, but I've done the first two and I'm partway through the third one. So I'm almost halfway through those. I've done all of my other trainings. We had a lot of trainings this year. So I got those done, boom, boom, in the, within a couple days. I mean, like I just spent a couple days at home doing nothing but that and getting those out of the way. So that's good. Whew. But yeah, this other thing I'm not quite finished with. So I'll be doing those in the evenings because uh, we report Monday. You know, this year everything is so different. We're not gonna have all the meetings that we normally have before school starts. As far as I know, I only have two meetings to go to. One is the whole staff meeting for our building to kind of go over like scheduling and procedures and all that stuff. And then we'll have a second grade, grade level meeting to talk about planning and all that. So yeah, normally we have like a big district meeting and there's usually like an insurance meeting we have to sit through the spiel because it's required. But we did all that like in May, it was all online. You had to watch some things, read some things, sign some things, put the insurance plan that you wanted and get that all squared away. Sorry, my camera keeps moving. Okay, so yeah, I think you're up to speed now. <laughs> all right, I am on the bridge, which is getting close to my building. So I will catch you in my classroom. Okay, I just moved the computer cart out of my room and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Here we go. All right, here it is in all of its goofy glory. <laughs> it's not too terribly bad. I mean, obviously it's not in order at all. Things need to be moved, but um, here's a couple of bags of things that the kids didn't come pick up. I've just got random stuff shoved everywhere from where the lovely custodians put things back in here for me. And honestly, they put a lot of things back where they remembered they had been. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, that's, that's what it's looking like right now. So not too bad. I just have some moving around to do. And then of course I used, I don't know if you can see back in there, but I used the cubbies to put all the little stuff. Yeah, put, I put as much stuff up as I could so they didn't have to move things. But yeah, the bigger things don't really have to move. Like my cubicles things, they put back right where they had been before. So that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna get to work. Okay, it is about 1.30. I'm stopping to have lunch and then I'll probably just stop for the day. But I'm gonna show you my room <laughs> from the front to the back again. Um, I made progress, but it's kind of like you have to make a mess to clean a mess kind of a thing. So here we go. All of this, pretty much stuff I need to take home, probably. And then I don't have my fabric here for this or this because I took it home to wash it over the summer. These will just hang up on my easel. And I've got my books picked out for my listening station, if we're allowed to do that. My classroom library is put together. I'll show you that in a minute. There's my mess of stuff that needs to go home because I still have a whole bunch of the camping stuff from <laughs> March when we camped. And then I think I'm going to take these home because I don't know that we're going to be able to do those kind of activities right now. So might as well take them home. And then all my tablecloths and things, I think I can put in the bottom drawer of the file cabinet, but I can't get to it right now. So this is just flexible seating. And I'm not sure we can do that either. So we'll see. But I have the cubbies done. Except for their name tags. I need to make their name tags and put them in front of here. I'll tape them down. But like all of their book boxes are ready. My lunch is ready too, you can hear it beeping. I need to put that tissue box away, but that's cleaned out. This is all set for the first day of school. And then these are the math, like ball pit ball things. I'll show you. And there's numbers 
magnetic numbers in the bottom of those. I'm not sure we can use those either, so don't know what to do with them quite yet, but I got my cubbies already. Right now, uh, bleh, right now, he, I only have 18 students, but I'm prepared for, you know, more. And then I need to do something with some of this stuff. It's just extras, which I had these in my cubbies last year as extra stuff. So they may just stay here. I think these are Elastic Extra. Wow. Scholastic News and stuff. I'll go through those and see what those are. See if there's enough of them for the whole class. Have some Astro Brights I got toward the end of the year last year. And then sheet protectors and stuff. So I can put them away somewhere. But there's that. And then here's another new stem bin that I have. These will be morning tubs. So the kids can come in the morning after they have breakfast and do those. Okay, moving past the mess. <laughs> to more mess. Oh, it's not too bad over here, actually. There's a tissue box needed to be put away. I need to figure out what to do with this fireplace until it's time for it. This will probably go home because it's got just random stuff in it. I need to clean up my closet still. Yeah, I know. I've been talking about it for two years, probably. It still needs to happen. But there were times where we weren't allowed in the building, so I didn't do it. I should probably change the calendar. <laughs> and I'll need to change the names on that and everything. But this is basically put away. I need to put some of this stuff up on the board. I can do that later. My desk is mostly done. I got all the back to school books out. Ready to go. So that's ready. This stuff I probably need to go through and see what's in it. But this looks a lot better over here. I need to figure out what to do with all of those clothing racks that I use for transformations. Maybe I can put them behind here. That might be a good hidey hole. I think I could stack them up back there, maybe. We'll see what I can do. I'd rather hide them behind something than take them all home because it'd be a pain. But this is a lot better. I've got a lot of stuff put away. There are some things still I need to figure out a home for, you know, miscellaneous stuff. So not too bad, not too bad at all. My teacher area is pretty good. But let me show you the library. I didn't have to do much to it. Just like basically take stuff off the top. But there's my library. My AR library there with the dots. Those correspond to different levels of books, the dots. And then there's my rug that I got last year. Fits perfectly. And then I haven't changed my bulletin boards at all. <laughs> my objectives are going to need to be changed because that's from like spring last year. So, yep. And I, I've got that lamp plugged in now. I need to fix those lanterns. I think they're low. If you look at them, kind of, if I can back up, you can kind of see... They should be about the same level as those, and they're really not. I think they fell through the summer, so I'll just pull the strings so they'll go up a little bit. And my clock needed a new battery last year, and so when they fixed the battery, they didn't stick the leaves back up there, so I just need to get my tall ladder and put that up there. It's not a big deal, but that's not too bad back here. So I kind of feel like I have, like, this half of the room mostly done, and then I have, like, this mess to deal with right here in the middle. So like I said, probably most of this will just go home. It's not as much as it looks like. It's spread out right now. It's probably three tubs worth of stuff, honestly. And that tub over there with the stacks of empty ones, not much in that one. It's just the way it's laid in there. It's not that great. And then this table, I think we'll stay here. I think that's something I can put stuff in to take home. I'm not sure I can use this table because of social distancing. So we'll see if I can have two kids that close together. I'm not sure. That looks like clay <laughs> from when we did our projects last spring. Okay, so it's not too bad over here. Mostly just little things to do. Lots of little things. So, oh, my hair's a hot mess now. Um, I'm going to be adding flamingos to my classroom. And one of my teamies came in today and she goes, oh, here's stuff that I got you over the summer I forgot to give you. I'm like, oh, sweet. So she got me this. Hobby Lobby had a whole bunch of flamingo stuff. It was on sale, so she got me that. And then, oh, yes, this is the other thing. So cute. Look, <laughs> isn't that cute? So you hang it on the wall. So I need to find a little hook thing so I can just like stick it like that. So right now it's just gonna take a nap, which I would like to do later too. <laughs> okay, like I said, I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'm probably going to, um, Maybe just do a few things. I, I need to print some things before I leave so I can take them home and stuff envelopes and stuff. Um, and then I need to run to T-Mobile and get my husband's phone switched over. Um, they're switching like cell towers and stuff because Sprint and T-Mobile merged and T-Mobile is the parent company now. And um, his phone isn't working anymore where he works. 
it works other places, but that's not very helpful when he's at work and I'm at home or I'm here. We can't talk to each other because <laughs> when he's in the town that he works, there's no service or on the way there. So he has another phone. We switched the SIM card, but they have to put in some kind of code or something to make it work. So I'm going to swing over there before I go home today. All right, I'm going to eat my lunch and get back to work. Okay, I've done a little more moving around. So I thought I'd show you what I've accomplished. Let me get back here. This is the back of the room by my desk and I'll show you what it looks like as an overview. All right, so I've got my rug. I only have, like I said, 18 kids. I have 12 desks right now because I do flexible seating. So I need to find out the particulars, but if you can see the kids will be, what, like a foot apart. We're not supposed to have them facing each other and I'm not sure if this is far enough apart, but we'll see. And I can even take a couple of them out and move some of these over so we can spread these out farther because kids can be on the rug too with a clipboard, which is what I used to do anyway. <sighs> so that's what it is. And I moved, as you can see, all the stuff off the desks and see that will probably stay here. I don't know if we can use those, but we'll see. This is stuff to go home. This I can probably put in another bin. This is all stuff to go home, that, and this is stuff to go home, except for that box that has some science stuff in it. So, looking pretty good. I need to get my tablecloth from home that I washed, and I'm sorry about that. I got interrupted. I got a phone call that um, Pikachu's food was ready at the vet, so I'll be picking that up on the way home. But I was saying, um, yeah, this over here, I need to get the tablecloth at home that I washed and I need to get the little tablecloth for that. So I can set up my listening station, if we can still do that. I hope we can. This table, I mean, they, they would be, you know, they'd be as far apart as they would be at their desks. So I don't know, I need to ask particulars. My principal has in a meeting or something, so I couldn't talk to her. And um, nobody knew the answers to my questions, which that's okay. It's fine. So I've gotten a whole bunch of stuff printed. I'll show you here. I need to print my labels, but I got my envelopes. I got my little birthday cup cover thingies. I printed my welcome letters. Yes, my little flamingos. Um, these are for like a door display. And these will be, I don't know if you remember last year when I did the pineapple um, things and there was a maze that I attached to it. It was like a party favor maze that I got at Target, which I don't know if they even have them. I'll have to go look and see. So if they don't have them, they won't get that. I mean, I'll just do something else. Like, thanks for popping in, do some popcorn or something. But that's what these are. So the little thing will go there. I think I might have some at home where I can show you what I'm talking about. So maybe I can insert that here so you can see what, I'm, what I mean. Because <laughs> right now it doesn't make a lot of sense. Also... I am going to, let me find the cover, have a class pet this year, and it's Fiona Flamingo, and that almost looks red. I might not want, I might want to change that. That looks kind of red compared to the rest of it. I might tweak the color a little bit on that one, but anyway, this is the binder cover, and then whoever is like the star student of the week, Terrific Kid of the Week, if we're even doing Terrific Kid, we'll do that. If not, I'm going to have like the Fantastic Flamingo of the Week or something. And they will fill out this little paper because they will take Fiona home and they'll have adventures with her, kind of like Flat Stanley. And they will draw a picture or take a picture of something they did with her and write about it and bring it back. They can share it with the class. And then this will go in a little page protector, like a plastic sleeve, inside the Fiona binder for all to read. So I have enough for 20 right now. And since I created it, I can make a bajillion more if I need to, but I don't know. So that's ready. I just need to get the binder. I think I have a pink binder. That'd be super cute. I might even have one here. I'll go poke around before I leave. And then, let me find the end of that. I made, hello, folder inserts. So Mrs. Bond's full amazing second grade. And then I'll put their name down here. With like a pretty Sharpie or a pretty marker or something. Make it kind of fancy. Alrighty, so that's what I've been up to. Not too shabby. Um, my room, not too sad about it. I think I'll give you an overview from the door so you can kind of see the transformation from what it looked like when I first got here 
and then the little checkpoint that I gave you around like 1.30 lunchtime, and then what it looks like now. Okay, here we go. Oh yes, did you notice that I found my curtain? Yes, indeed. And I took the names of this. Now those little circles I showed you that I printed out, I can change this over and do the flamingos, but I think I might just put it on my door on the outside. I think that'd be cute. Okay, so here's this. Now we have to do a new one of these emergency routes every year. I don't know if you guys do that. Even if it hasn't changed, we always update it for the new year. And then here's our pickup passes. We're not even sure if we're gonna use those, but we have them just in case. Here are some things that I think need to go on the door, probably, and just random stuff. Okay, this is a lot more cleaned up now. I have lots of trash because I got stuff out of the cubbies and threw things away. This is for starting writing, which would be good. Now we don't actually start writing writing until second quarter, but we're gonna do like review stuff. There's this stuff that I didn't have ready last time, I don't think. I've had, like I said, that will have a tablecloth. That will have a tablecloth. Those are all the papers I need to go home with parents when they come. These I need to like stick behind stuff. They're shelves that I'm not using, so I took them out. I'm not sure if I can use my tall table on the bed risers. You know, I had the stools where a couple of kids each day got to sit at it. I don't know if I can do that. So I just shoved it back here because I don't know if they can use the classroom library either. <laughs> There's a lot of things I'm not sure about. So I put stuff back here. This little guy, ugh, it needs some glue. So the skirt, skirt, the skirt has been coming off. So I need to hot glue stuff. Just take this off and start over. My library hasn't changed. I don't think this has changed either, except I moved this back here. I cleaned the table and little cushions that go with it are back here because I don't know if I can use that either. So things are back. This is piled up here because one of my books, it was a paperback, on my shelf got stuck in the back and squished. So I'm trying to flatten it right now. So those will not be there later. Like I said, I'm gonna try to shove those back here, probably like back in here. Something like that. Um, that's, I need to go through that stuff. That's just a whole bunch of things. I found my power cord, yay. I got those little random doohickeys. This doesn't really look any different. Mostly it's the main part of the room that looks different. I think that looks a lot better, more organized. I feel like it got a lot accomplished today. And I separated my piles by what I need to take home and what I don't need to take home. And then this, I'll flip it over. So if you whoop, have not ever read We Don't Eat Our Classmates, you would really enjoy it. It's super cute. And there's an Amy Lemons activity like it's really crooked but anyway there's an amy lemons unit you can buy to go with it i'll show you the book too i think i have it over here yes i do so we have penelope the dinosaur this is a super cute back to school book we don't need our classmates so you know she's ends up being the only tyrannosaurus rex in school with a whole bunch of humans and you can imagine she gets hungry and she takes some bites out of her friends and it doesn't go over well she doesn't have friends so there's a cute unit you can get, all kinds of neat stuff for rooted and reading, which is how I'm gonna start my year. So all in all, I feel like I made a lot of um, strides today. Pfft, not mentally though, wow, and <laughs> not with my vocabulary apparently, wow. Anyway, yeah, I feel good about today. Tomorrow's another one. <laughs> I'll be coming back tomorrow and doing some more things. I'll probably, I might have my husband come with me on Saturday and he can help me load stuff up because he has a truck. Maybe he can bring his truck. It's just a pickup, but he can put stuff in the bed and we can take all of it at once rather than me schlepping home like bajillions of car loads full. And I can bring my um, tablecloths and stuff like that. So I think I'll make myself a list and get myself out of here. It's like 3.20 now. I'm gonna go run over to the T-Mobile store, get my husband's phone taken care of, take all my papers with me. See if I can find a cool binder to put that in and uh, go home. Yeah. And I need to do some more training for my canvas stuff. Like I said, I have about, I'm almost halfway through. So I have like three and a half units to do still. So I need to work on that because it's due on Monday and times, times a ticking. Okay. But I feel, yeah, I feel like I made a lot of progress today. Oh, and I found all these. So yeah, I use these for like the jobs chart up here that I need to take the names off. You can see up here. That's the jobs chart right there. I need to take the names off those. Those are the 
birthday pineapples. I'm not switching over completely to flamingos. If you were wondering, I'm just adding them in because then it'll be more like tropical. So yeah. And I still haven't fixed those things. So whatever. They're still hanging. That's good. All right. I'm going to quit babbling. <laughs> I'm going to just get my stuff together and get out of here. And I'll see you on day two tomorrow.